They call it no fucking good television for a reason. I'm Tucker Max, and that's what you're watching. <laughs> As we do this interview, I'm starting to think that you know the book cover where it says your face here. I was wondering if maybe you could do that for me. <laughs> because I was trying to, they just put your face here as if this is not really happening. <laughs> not know me. My name is Tucker Max. And I am a dick childish pile of shit. What you got to guess? Sexist motherfucker. Naughty little pig. <laughs> What's going on you crazy motherfuckers? I'm Shark Firestone. Gary Keegan. Matt Zucre. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. And Logan! Tucker Max. <laughs> and Tucker fucking Max. Apparently you made a movie. Oh. What's that one called? <laughs> it's called I Hope They Serve Beer in Hell. Mm. Thank you because we're in it. All right. It's, uh, this is a coffee. Wow. Uh, completely out of place. Yeah. Yeah. Completely yeah. out of place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, original title because it's based off the book. Mm -hmm. And I play this guy, which is very original because it's him. Movie Tucker. Yes. So it's, it's all very original stuff that everybody's going to love. So because... what did you think about the performance? Did he did he capture the essence On of... On screen he was great. <laughs> <laughs> On screen <laughs> asshole. On screen he was great. He, uh, in real life, it's kind of funny because like the dude could not be more opposite than me. He's like the nicest, most empathetic, most, look, he's drinking fucking coffee. <laughs> All right, that's like- He's uh, a professional. He yeah, plays, but he did do a shot <laughs> earlier, he so- He plays tennis, you. like Thank he you. does charity, like the nicest fucking dude. And he's gay. No. I don't Sorry, know. No, I don't know. He might be, but as far, as far as we all know, he's straight. Yeah. But in the um, movie, he's gay because he's playing knows. you. Oh, <laughs> thank so you. Thank you. Oh, this should be good. I don't think you want to one for movie me. talk. I really don't. Seriously, I'll give you a free one, but after that, I'm coming back on you. Seriously. Right. No, he's coming on your back. Oh! Ah. oh. <laughs> nice. Tucker's got my back. It's funny, my friends watch the movie and they like afterwards they look at me and they're like, dude, I wanna hang out with that fucking dude. Because <laughs> he's a lot he's like a lot nicer. Nah. And, uh, and uh. no, just in the movie. He's like more fun and more redeemable and just like a lot more likable than I am in real life. If that if that's the more likable side of you, <laughs> I feel better. <laughs> Why do you have friends? <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I can't be held accountable for the things that come out of my mouth. Someone's gotta be the bad guy. Right? Is that true? Is that the law? There's always gotta be one asshole in every group? I mean I guess. I don't know. It's true. It's like the yin and the yang. You got the sweetheart and then you got the douche. Yeah. <laughs> but it seems to be working out pretty well for you. I mean, I mean nice you got story, story, story for on. days. Hey. Hold on, story yeah, for so days. So the dude who looks like LFMAO is fucking you too. <laughs> hey, are you fucking hey. dude? I'm not trying to hide my douchery. <laughs> I don't think he is either. He's a designated slut. It's uh, that kind of freedom and, and rawness and honesty that drew me to the, the part and the character. And, and that's why we're here, because this place is obviously the same way, so. Really? It wasn't just the casting couch episode that it was like, cool, let's find out. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, there's always that intrigue there. Now that we're, now that we're here. <laughs> I would not use a rubber. <laughs> Just to let you on know. her or on me? <laughs> what you do anal? So, yeah, because yeah. it's safe. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. safer. It's safer because I know that you're a virgin, <laughs> and so we want to preserve that. I am. And you know what? That was sort of the selling point of No Good TV is that yes. I have not been, you know, devoured yet. She's yes. a sacrificial lamb of sorts. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> color me shocked. It's one of those things, you know, you got you to have sex with a virgin, a deaf girl. Mm. What else? What, is a, there a couple a other A little things? person. A little person. Is there They're anything? They're called midgets. <laughs> <laughs> They're called fucking midgets. Is that midgets. the argument? <laughs> They're midgets. Let me enlighten you. What was the line one? Like, are we the, 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 well, if they're dwarfs and they got disproportionate head to their body, what was the whole thing? Can no, well, there's actually, yeah, seriously, there is a true difference. Like, uh, teach us. I saw her, my midget princess. A dwarf uh, or a midget is someone who has, like, a huge, they have some fucking disease. They have a massive fucking head, a normal torso, but they have stubby little fucking legs and stubby little arms. Like, they can't even fucking wipe or jack off. I love you! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. You want to touch him now? You just said they're disgusting. Well, he's talking about like a, like a hookup list. Like I definitely had midgets number one on the list for years. 
And it wasn't, I don't want to fuck just a really short girl. Like, there are plenty of girls. Hey, I'm 5'10. Whatever. I mean, I'll fuck 5'10 short. 5'10 short. 3'10 would be. I mean, 4'10. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of girls who are 4'10 who are like, you know, like, you're not, you're not a midget. Unless you have a massive head and you can't reach your crotch with your arms, you are not a midget. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on the lookout for you. <laughs> so, any of you out there? This is the Super Bowl of Carnal Pleasures. Did you try doing the helicopter with any Oh, images? totally. I totally. I did. But, but Do you tell. You can't. Uh, it was too short. Or the, 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 the fucking her vagina was too shallow. You can't, you, you can't get, you gotta get enough separation so where you can actually get off the crotch so there's too much friction to spin. Right, right. And her vagina was like this fucking shallow. Like, I don't have a big dick, but I mean, <laughs> I was already up in her cervix before I barely got my head in. So it was like, Hanging out with her colon, just I saying really how do you do? Like, normally, you, you know, you girl, put a girl's like fucking legs on your shoulder, whatever. You couldn't do that with her because there was literally no vagina left. Like, <laughs> how big is your dick? How big is your mouth? So that's the downside then. Was there any other downside or is it all just up for me? It's all downside except for fucking a midget. <laughs> but you can throw around a little bit, right? You, you can... say who's fucked the midget in this room. I can raise my hand. Have you fucked the no, midget too? Okay. Not well. well, then keep your fucking hand down. Do I'm close. I got, I got a weird head, so maybe I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm not a dwarf. I'm a yeah. midget. That's the only upside is saying you fucked the midget. And all the rest is downside. They got nice. fucked up teeth and they're weird looking. <laughs> And they like fucking squeak when they talk and they got stubby little arms. And so the girl you cast in your film, she was so happy with the description that she was like, dude, I'm in. No. I want to be that that girl. <laughs> it's like, you sweet talked me all the way into the bedroom. Her mashed up teeth sparkling in the oily light of the novelty condom machine. Uh, he had a cod piece on. He didn't actually fuck the midget. I'm the one who, yes, the only one in this yes. room who's fucked the midget. What? That's one of the <laughs> cameramen, the dirty fucking bastards. Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> really? The <laughs> one person. Uh, nice. He had a proportional head. <laughs> Not the sausage fingers. <laughs> That's fucked up. And I've had, I've had fake, what, what? fake sex with a little person. Say again? Fake sex. The, the girl we put in the, oh, I'm gonna tell the story too. I'm totally gonna sell you out of this because it's really funny. Sell me out. You know, you, you don't want to, you know, <laughs> you know the story? are sold out in the five minute monologue that just happened that I'm sitting next to you that I completely disagree with. All right, so <laughs> go ahead. So the midget. <laughs> Continue. The sell me out like, more. Here we go, man. The midget we got in the, in the, for the movie was Bridget the Midget. The porn, you know, the porn. Right. I'm sure right. you've jacked right. off right. to her. Right. Who has? Oh, All right. She's very it's America, cool. right? She's very cool. So she's like she's a midget cool. porn star, and she's pretty hot for a midget, and she actually is super cool, very, very total nice. pro, very cool. um, really great on set. And so when it came time, Matt has a, a love scene with her in the movie, and it came time to do the love scene. She goes, well, why don't we just fuck? <laughs> poor Matt, did poor not, Matt was fucking- Did, did not, for the record, Stark White, when Stark White, of course they didn't, when Stark White, like, Oh my god, no, never. And I'm like, dude, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you you <laughs> can have it on it, just that's one stuff. Check it off. I was like, check oh, it off, you Bridget. <laughs> fucking shit. That's why I say I faked fuck. Yes, no, it was. Little person. But you actually blew your load. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's normal for right. me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a cock sock on? Yeah, yeah, of course. I had to wear that uh, much throughout the movie because uh, you see my ass many times and I'm having <gasps> now, did fake you really sex shit yourself? Wait, yes, we need to discuss. That looks pretty real. I mean, like, was Jesus. that? Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'm glad it looks real. That, that was the point. Um, no. and, and by the way, congratulations, because it was like the fucking Michael Bay of shit scenes. <laughs> there was like eight cameras. What, you mean it sucked? No. no. <laughs> No, seriously. <laughs> you had every angle covered for the explosion that was going to happen. It was like okay. yeah, action yeah. scene to the fucking eight, tank eight degree. Cameras. Michael Bay does not equal good. <laughs> yeah, Story took, wise, action wise, awesome. We took three right. days. <laughs> we took three days to do that scene. You got it. I kind of reached a point where they were rubbing fake poop on the inside of my butt crack in front of the whole crew, where I'm like, you know. Did you join a slick legging? Oh, man, you know, I was like, my mom and dad would be so proud Seven. of me, so proud of me that I would have fake poop on the inside of my butt crack. So, uh, what the makeup comes We didn't do, it wasn't God, real, I but. I hate my job. Oh, uh, God, what no, hate my life. But I'm there in front of the crew naked. Uh, like I think but there's wait, corn wait. right behind his knees. Yes. <laughs> 
I noticed in the movie when the when the girl is shooting all over herself, you know, she has the little business in the in the bathroom. You're still like making out with her a little bit. You're like, no, just just wait, I'm gonna shit real quick, and then and then once the thing overflows, it's like all bets are off. It's Tracy fucking Lords. I'm just saying. You don't give up an opportunity to fuck Tracy Lords. That's exactly what I said. I'm hitting it so hard, whoever pulls me out of you is gonna become king of England. If a girl has diarrhea and shitting all over the place, do you still finish the deal? If if you're all good to go. It it depends on who the girl is, Mm -hmm. how hot she is, and how drunk you are. Okay. So there's no rule no, threes. No, you know, that was funny. Do you remember being on set that day? Actually, yeah. it was funny. We we did that take where I was kind of you know coming back into the situation and and then um, you know went in smelled and then stopped. Right. And he and he actually, do you remember this? You came. I was like, dude. If you hear her doing that, it's done. You wouldn't be going up. I'm like, no, no, come on. Sorry. And then that's the one they take. They actually no, used yeah. in the movie. But he's like, dude, y'all wouldn't do that. You know, if you hear that shit, you're not going to keep going out. I was like, why not? That's Tracy Lords. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck it. You will see my fucking ass in this movie. If you want to see my ass, come see it. <laughs> That's super. <laughs> Woo! And- <laughs>I can't win with you. You're so <laughs> Moving on. All right, all right, all right. Hypothetical. I'll give you all right, so so we're all. You walk in the room. People go and add it. You know, some some hot, beautiful woman <laughs> just fucking cartwheels right up into your face, and she's got it. She's she Sean Johnson. She's like, yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay. She's been trained. This is her thing. So you're like going down on her, right? And you and, and you feel something on your dick, like you, you, a sweet little rub. Hold on, I went down on a girl I met at a Swingers party? <laughs> Alright, you gotta take this hypothetical. This is you hypothetical! Lost, you lost me! <laughs> this will never ever have go down on a girl at a Swingers party. Why don't I just fucking suck a dick? <laughs> Get the fuck well, that out answers of here! That yeah. question. Yeah. 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 Yes, you would! <laughs> Get out of here. Never. Who's your daddy? It's no good!